I came across this story by Robert Sapolsky. I think it was Robert Sapolsky. And he was talking about zebras. And so I'll take two minutes and tell you the zebra story because if you understand this story, you understand absolutely everything about human beings. And so it's worth two minutes. So, so you know, zebras hypothetically are camouflaged, right? That's what everyone says. But come on, really? Lions are camouflaged. They're the same color as the grass. Zebras are black and white. You can see one of those things like a, a mile away. But there isn't a zebra. There's a herd of zebras. And so the zebra's actually camouflaged against the herd. Now that's something to think about. So the stripes of zebras are the zebra's jargon. That's a good way of thinking about Ooh. it. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. <laughs> So anyways, so biologists go out and study zebras, and he, zebra biologists, and they're going to, they got to watch a zebra to figure out what it's up to. And so they watch a zebra, and then they make a note, and then they look up and they think, oh my God, like which collection of black and white stripes was that zebra? Because the stripes don't outline the zebra, and they camouflage the zebra perfectly against the herd. So if you look away from the zebra down and back up, you don't know what you're looking at. So the biologists think, oh, crap, we better, we better solve this problem. So they drive up to the herd with a jeep and a bucket of red paint and a stick with a rag on the end of it, and they, they paint one of the zebra's haunches with a red spot, or they clip its ear like you do with cattle. Then you can keep track of the zebra. Guess what happens to the zebra? The lions eat it. Oh. Right. Oh is right. Bloody right. Oh, yeah. The lions cannot hunt a single zebra down unless they can identify it, because they organize their hunt they have to organize their hunt around and identify. You can't hunt four zebras. You, you can only hunt right. one at you a time. You can't hunt a blur of zebras. No. And so the reason they go after the little ones or the ones that limp isn't because, you know, they're part of kind nature and just culling the weak. That they like a nice, healthy, delicious, juicy zebra as much as the next person, you know. So, <laughs> so but they, they have to be able to identify. So the thing is, is you make yourself colorful. You stand out. The lions will kill you. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Well, Canadians, we don't like to stand out. We like everybody to do okay. But we don't like it very much when people stand out. And so, and I mean, I'm not being entirely critical of that. I really do understand it. I really do understand it. Because there's lions out there, you guys. There are. There, that's right. There, and there, there definitely are. And if you stick your neck out, then the lions will come. Or the sword, because that's a common saying, right? Mm -hmm. The head that sticks up above the rest is the first to be cut, out, but cut off by the sword. Mm -hmm. Many, many cultures have a saying like that. The poppy that grows higher right. than the rest is the, the tall first. The poppy syndrome. Exactly, exactly. And so, and it's exactly right. It's, it's biologically correct.